After a pretty eventful week in the Scottish Premiership, a weekend, we've got the latest news and Nicky Devlin is joining Aberdeen. We knew this would happen, photos even came out of it. David Martindale showed his distaste at it. But Livingston captain Nicky Devlin says conversation with Barry Robson were a key factor in his decision to join Aberdeen as a free agent in the summer. He says Aberdeen have got ambition and that's why he did it. And to be fair, can you really blame anyone for wanting to move on for Levy? I mean, yeah, they're a nice club. David Martindale seems dead on. And they, they, look, they seem just to be a premiership mainstay. But they're... they're the finances for Livingston are like next to none. They're never going to grow. I'm actually surprised they're actually in the Premiership, how they even got there, uh, to be honest. But David Martindale's been overachieving with that budget, with that squad. Uh, the last few years, they've kind of, I wouldn't say balled top six, but they kind of just fell at the final hurdle. Um, and they start off strong and then they end really badly. But yeah, but Nicky Devlin, I think he's made the right choice here. You know, he's probably going to get European football. But pretty much no matter what, he's got your European football, whether it be guaranteed like group stage or not. But into the gossip column we go, and FC Luzerne manager Mario Frick plays down a report that falling out with captain Ordon Jarahashi, linked with a summer switch to Celtic. Celtic striker Hugo Farahashi is targeting the Lisbon Lions goal scoring record of 111 league goals with the current squad in need of four more over the final two fixtures. Well, they could have very easily have done it, but every Celtic fan will probably admit this. Celtic have went off the boil recently. Um, I mean, you look at their two the two last home games, realistically, I mean, a draw against St. Mary on the Motherwell is just not good enough. And people getting called out saying they were treating it like a friendly. Uh, so, yeah, and you know what? They very easily could have lost that St. Mary game. Against Rangers, they were didn't really look, I mean, O hit the post. And uh, McGregor forced this, uh, no, McCrory forced to save it to O'Reilly, but apart from those two chances, like they, they were toothless. And uh, against Hearts, I think they were fortunate with the sending off. And you'd expect them to win by more than two, playing against 45 minutes against a Hearts team, uh, personally. But could they do it? Yeah, I think they still could do it. But will they do it? That's a different story. Aberdeen expect to lose head of recruitment Darren Mowbray to relegate a Premier League side Southampton. Oh, no. Midfielder Leighton Clarkson says a slip up against horrible St Mirren isn't an option as Aberdeen seek to nail down third spot. Well, Aberdeen will receive another pay for the 2020 sale Scott McKenna did not enforce after the English club ensured the Premier League safety. Aberdeen reeking in the money. And uh, Benny Benigimi has revealed that he won't be seen in a heart shirt until next season. The midfielder's been out for over a year with a cruciate ligament injury and has suffered a minor setback on his return to training. St Johnson skipper Liam Gordon backs interim boss Stephen McLean to follow the club's recent recipe for success by making the step up from player to manager at the Perth club. Well, you look at all these other managers that have kind of just took over after being like players or interim. Like Barry Robson, I feel like now the wheels are beginning to come off the Barry Robson hype terrain. Well, Stuart Kettlewell, I think, legit has done a good job, but also was a previous manager, so you can take a lot into that. Um, but interesting to note. We did make a fit on Kieran Tierney yesterday, and uh, we've got Chris Commons talking about the Scottish defender. He's got former Celtic star Chris Commons, and he's been left scratching his head over the reduced role at Arsenal for Scotland defender Kieran Tierney. Absolutely. If you want to see our fed on it yesterday, go check it out. Um, Kieran Tierney's too good to be fucking warm on a bench, especially over Shaka. I rate Shaka, but no at left back. Guy's slower than a snail in a shell. The guy's dug me. Anyway, moving on. Um, Manchester City, of course, won the Premier well, League. I mean, they won the Premier League on Saturday, but they they left it yesterday with a one 0 win over Chelsea. Shitey Chelsea. So is what it is but that is us guys done for today not an awful lot of news uh, but I guess we do have a bit more games this week uh, what else we got we got any tomorrow no it's all about Wednesday though of course we've got a full set of fixtures go check out the SPFL review shows we want to see our predictions but we'll be on the, we'll be boots on the ground for Rangers Hearts can Hearts get the job done and take a massive step toward third place or will Rangers continue their fine post-split form and defeat them? I think Rangers will win. I'll be there though. So uh, aye, make sure to check out for all that fun content coming your way here on Fog Football. Go sub to me for a match day vlog. 
And uh, yeah, if there's any interesting moments, you're sure to see it on this channel as well. But until next time, your thoughts down below and peace.